women empowerment, women skills, awareness on childhood cancer, financial independency, role of the carer. These are the some points that I would like to talk about today. Namaskar. My name is Dilagwedi Karmigam. I am from Slango, Malaysia. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Women Icon, powered by Times Women, for the award. The award that I've won is Emerging Woman Leader in Social Work. I've been involved in social work since my high school days. I used to spend my days after school in St. Nicholas School for the Blinds and the Little Sisters of the Poor Home for the Aged. I found that days that I spent there full of happiness for myself. I enjoyed every moment spent there, talking with the inmates, spending time with the children, reading storybooks, cleaning, taking them out on outdoor activities. All that gave me a kind of happiness that I cannot elaborate here. That went on till my marriage. I've been doing all kinds of other things of community service, etc. in between. When the children came, when I moved to Selangor, I continued whatever I was doing back at home in Penang then. I used to visit the homes together with my young children that taught them how the privileged they are, how difficult it is life out there, and not all children are privileged as them. I was happy that they could understand the situations faced by the children there, and by being there with the children, it's kind of bonding thing. The children had the like family time with us. This made me happier to do more things with the orphanages, old folks' home, and so on, and I was doing it till the year 2014, which really made a difference in my life and my entire family. That year, my son was diagnosed with leukemia. Definitely, that was a really a very difficult time that the entire family was going through. And while there at the hospital, going chemotherapy, the treatment and all other things that which came together as a package. It was a very difficult time and I realized there are mothers in the world also going through a lot of difficulties in their life daily. One major issue was financial burden. When the child is diagnosed with cancer, the main issue is definitely finance, which we also faced it. But, you know, that did not hinder me from stopping of helping the mothers there. I realized that they could not speak to the role, I mean the carer could not speak to anyone in the family or even the spouse. I myself could not speak freely with my husband, even though he was there for us. I would like to take this opportunity to thank also my husband, Mr. Krishnamurti Ramachandran, who has been a pillar of support and strength without his consent, and support, I wouldn't have done what I've been, I've done and what I'm doing now. Thank you for that. So I, then followed by that, when I realized what these mothers are going through, you see, normally a carer can be anyone, but in most cases, it's the mother. I started talking to them, giving them a shoulder to cry. In the evenings, I used to get all the mothers together and we used to talk. I, this made them happy. They could, we could share things that we were unable to share. When there is no help from extended family members, it's not going to be easy. That extended family members' support is very crucial when a family is going to hard times, such as having a child in cancer. So we started talking and giving them advice, even though I myself was at the same time going through a lot of things. That when I see them smiling, that made me happier. And I thought, yes, I could do something for them. I started sharing my food. I started sharing my time, taking over to take care of the child when the mother is not well, when she needs a nap and things like that. 
I know I am going into a direct, uh, correct direction in helping these carers or mothers there. For me, it is definitely a way to help is to talk. I could not do anything else, but that helped. Went on and then I started raising my funds and doing it also individually, helping the families who are traveling from far and when they have to be at the halfway house. A lot of things were happening. Then came COVID. COVID was another situation where I faced a lot of hurdles. A lot of things happened. The entire COVID period, I was moving around, distributing food, milk powders, clothing, whatever that I could. I used to go to the remote places to help. And I realized when the man is jobless due to COVID and when the woman of the house has never been out to work, situations were getting very bad. And to that, I made a decision that these women must be taught some kind of skills which can generate home-based income. Well, for me, social work does not mean giving financial aid. Social work is more than that. By spending time, giving them the direction where to go and get the help, guiding them, it's also a kind of social work for me. So what all I needed was to tap into this woman's skills which has been there but there was no one to help them, to bring it out. I started conducting bakery classes such, you know, I managed to do numerous baking classes. So many women came in, they learned and I'm very happy and proud to share that Many are continuing doing it, so which has been helping them to generate home-based income. There are families who are still in contact with me. So women must be able to stand on a loan and to generate income. We cannot just be a dependent. We must be a co-provider. These are the things that I'll educate people and also while doing my other social work like being there for the cancer families, conducting classes and I also target and have done few talks targeting young children in school because for me young children must be taught the factor, the cause that is contributing to the increase of childhood cancer. They must be taught that such as uh, excessive use of electronic items like mobile phones, non-healthy food, fast food, processed food need to be avoided. So they are, they are aware that these are the things they have to avoid not to suffer in future. I am very sure that children will be able to understand. And I know that it is impossible to make cancer disappear but by, while educating them and giving them the knowledge and the awareness I think we will be able to reduce the number of cases in future. I will continue my work as far and as good as possible and will render the best I could and definitely this award is a boost for me. Once again, I thank you, Woman Icon, powered by Times Woman, for the award. Thank you.